Hey guys, it's me Serena. Um, I'm here because I'm super duper excited. Basically, I had a mini rant the other day. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, SDOTJ, you would have seen me say, why the hell don't we have a BB cream? I mean, we spend so much money on cosmetics. This is ridiculous. Where is my BB cream? <laughs> um, so basically, if those of you who don't know what a BB cream is, it's also known as a blemish balm, a blemish base, a blemish balm, beauty balm. <laughs> um so basically it was something that was kind of introduced and mainly sold in asia like east and southern east um asia and it's original i'm looking down because i have like actually got some facts behind my bb cream um it was actually initially used to protect the skin after laser treatment laser um laser surgeries or um procedures to provide like coverage so Basically, what's inside of it, it is, um, basically, what's inside of it, it's got, like, colours in it, um, so it can be, let's just call it a, a tinted moisturiser, but not quite, it's a tinted moisturiser with extra, so, um, it has got colour in it, it has got SPF in it, basically, it's meant to prevent, um, blemishes, so it's got in ingredients and ages for that, meant to reduce redness, if you get that, um, gives you a light coverage, um, SPFs are in some of them. So basically every brand and its mother had picked up on this trend and they've kind of taken it over at the moment, well, where it first started in terms of, um, like I said, was mainly introduced in like South Korea and um, Japan in like the 80s. I mean, we're, we're late now having this BB cream on our market. So basically the main companies were Misha, Face Shop, Etude House, Skin Food have got one, Skin 79 have got one. Skin 79 is quite a, a popular one. And then it started crossing over. So Garnier, um, Olay, Maybelline, uh, every, you know, Revlon, all of those big people started to make BB creams, but they never made them for black skin or, or in black skin tone. So they, they would have five ranges, five colours, but they never, the dark was never dark enough. Um, and especially living in the UK, we don't tend to get things for like that in our skin tone so basically sleek have introduced one into their range which is really i'm so excited um so sleek have got one so base it is here comes in this box like that um so it's be beautiful blemish bomb and <clears throat> there you go and the blurb on the front is conceals repairs protects full coverage blemish balm cream with spf of 15 now this costs me 8.99 in superdrug so um that's nothing really considering a condi a, a proper foundation is what can run you from 20 pounds upwards if you if you shop in mac then it's definitely over 20 pounds um but what i did was i was so excited to find it they had four colours and the medium was gone. So I thought that I could do the dark in the super drug that I went to. So I ended up getting the dark. So I've got two. So I've got this one. And then today I bought the medium. So I'm probably going to give my sister the dark because she's a little bit darker than me. And um, it'll probably suit her closer to me. To, could suit her skin tone closer than mine um i've got it on now but if um in proper lighting you could see like there's a really big difference <laughs> but it's you know it's okay and then the second one is gosh bb cream not much of a blurb on the front it says bb cream foundation primer moisturizer all in one and it's 30 mils and it's got an spf of 15 as well um gosh is actually a danish brand and they have got five colors and i got the fifth color which is espresso um this was seven pounds 99 um currently got two pounds off so that's why i got it for seven pounds 99 so its original price is nine pounds 99 um yeah really excited to try these out i'm going to do a proper review i can show you the different colors so this is the dark that's the dark by sleek this is the medium 
by Sleek. I'll rub them in, don't worry. And this is the Five Espresso by Gosh. There we go. There's that one. Um, uh, wearing the dark today I think I put a little bit too much on I mean this coverage like it is a little bit too dark I've been got over overzealous with with buying that one um this medium is definitely more my color more my skin tone um that I've got going on here so if you see that. but once it's blending properly it looks completely different and I've got the gosh on the end there which is um, here so that's that's the gosh on the end so um, let me move that in work that in a bit more to give you the real the true tone of the medium which is in the middle so yeah so the gosh um espresso and the medium um sleek are better skin tones for me um and that's the dark on the top but yeah super duper excited all under 10 pounds which is absolutely amazing i'm so excited to try these out i'm gonna do like a proper review on them after i've used them for a, probably like a couple of weeks to find out i mean i've currently got the dark on now i think i put a bit too much i did use my fingers to put it on um so a little bit does go a long way uh basically i do get oily in my t-zone so i did notice that i was oily with this but I didn't have all my products with me because I stayed with my sister so um last night so yeah really happy um just letting everybody else know that they sell them it's in super drug yeah all right thanks for watching me bye